Globally, almost one in five deaths is associated with a poor diet. For adults in the United States, that estimate is closer to 45%. Currently, six out of 10 adults in the United States have a chronic disease, many of which are diet-related. The personal and systemic burden of diet-related chronic disease is so immense that it must be addressed. In September 2022, the U.S. National Strategy on Hunger, Nutrition, and Health was published as part of the White House Conference on Hunger, Nutrition, and Health. The strategy states a commitment to end hunger and reduce health disparities and the prevalence of diet-related disease by 2030. In addition to medications needed to manage symptoms of chronic diseases, healthcare providers may direct patients to consume fruits and vegetables as one way to decrease the risk of conditions such as heart disease, stroke, diabetes, and even cancer. To help patients implement these dietary changes, they may receive a benefit called a produce prescription. A produce prescription begins with healthcare professionals screening patients for qualifying conditions, such as food insecurity and diagnosis of diet related chronic disease. Patients are provided with the means, such as a debit card, voucher, or special credit on their grocer's loyalty card, to enable them to select and purchase fruits and vegetables from grocers at low or no cost to the patient. These benefits are typically refreshed on a monthly basis until the patient is taken off the prescription. Some healthcare providers may also provide patients with additional services to bolster the produce prescription, such as nutrition counseling and culinary education. While the national strategy recognizes the role produce prescriptions can play in reducing health disparities and the prevalence of diet-related disease, produce prescription programs are not yet universally accepted as a covered clinical benefit, in the same way prescription pharmaceuticals are. In response, Federal, state, and local policymakers are taking action to expand access to and utilization of produce prescriptions. This includes the use of cost-effective alternatives to standard Medicaid benefits under an In Lieu of Services or ILO's policy and Section 1115 waivers, which permit states to explore innovative ways to operate their Medicaid programs. Healthcare training is evolving to drive awareness of produce prescriptions and food as medicine treatment plans. Healthcare providers are increasingly screening for and making referrals to address food and nutrition insecurity, and population health managers have new tools to more accurately measure and assess a patient's risk of diet-related disease. The impacts of food and nutrition insecurity and diet-related disease are felt by both patients and providers in the form of costly insulin prescriptions, amputations caused by diabetes, debilitating or lethal heart disease and stroke, new cancer diagnoses, and more. The power of improved diets is well known, but too often, access to fruits and vegetables, when compared with other foods, is a barrier for patients to follow their healthcare provider's orders. While the concept of food as medicine is as old as medicine itself, produce prescriptions are relatively new to the healthcare system. Produce prescriptions have consistently been shown to increase the intake of fruits and vegetables, establish and sustain food security, and improve quality of life, all while also having profound positive and notable health impacts in a variety of healthcare settings and communities across the U.S. Healthcare providers and professionals who integrate produce prescriptions into patient care plans may help to eliminate or drastically reduce the financial burdens that can come with clinically recommended dietary changes.